first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity by Hashem Rakah Kodash. All right, this lesson is going to um, be entitled uh, Minimum Wage Doesn't Cover the Rent Anywhere in the U.S. I came across this um, article on the internet. <clears throat> It's dated June 14, 2018, and it's very true, you know, although we are in um, November, nonetheless, um, it's accurate, you know, minimum wage does not cover the rent anywhere in the U.S., so, you know, us Jakes have to live a modest life, all right, which is pretty much beneficial our, in our situation that we are in right now, having no ties to this current system you know living by our, our modest means but nonetheless we are under the rule of these edomites and they got it set up like this where you know jake is living behind the eight ball so to speak so i want to read this article because it's it's very interesting you know you know we got they got it set up where we, we, we're really not going to make it, you know, and live lavishly in this life. But, you know, the Lord does bless us and, and you know, brothers have houses and, and nice places to stay. But nonetheless, overall, this place is set up for Jake to live, you know, in a, in a jacked up spot, in a jack, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and read it and bring some scriptures out. This is a, it says a minimum wage worker would have to put in lots of overtime to be able to afford a modest two bedroom apartment anywhere in the country it says and downsizing to a one bedroom pad barely helps even with some states hiking pay for those earning the least there is still nowhere in the country where a person working a full-time minimum wage job can afford to rent a decent two bedroom apartment and that's true you know you know with the even though that they raised all right the minimum wage I believe it was this year in 2018, you know, still you cannot really afford a decent two bedroom apartment by yourself. You know, now we live in a society where uh, both both man and his wife have to live to, you know, get something decent. It's not in the hood that it's not, you know, infested with drugs or or pestilence or whatever the case may be. You know, it says where a person working a full time minimum wage job can afford a rent, a decent two bedroom apartment, according to an annual report released Wednesday by the National Low Income Housing Coalition. Right. And, you know, in the 40s, you know, in the 1940s, a man could work only and be able to uh, provide for his house, you know, all utilities, food car and gas all right but we're living in a society where it's you know esau got it set up to where you know jake is struggling just to make ends meet just to pay rent you know and even brothers who are blessed we you know we still um earn wages okay and put them in a bag you know like it says in the book of hosea i believe you know so you know we put money and we try to store it but even that you know there's because we're, we're subject to payments <clears throat> It says even the fifteen dollar fifteen dollar hourly wage touted by labor activists would not be enough to make housing affordable in the overwhelming majority of states. The coalition found nationally someone would need to make seventeen ninety an hour to rent a modest one bedroom or twenty two ten an hour to cover a two bedroom place. That's just one person. You see? So that's why, you know, it's it's kind of necessary for, for a man and his wife to work to bring in, you know, two incomes because, you know, even that they raised, uh, raised the minimum wage to $15 in some places, I mean, raised the, um, the, the minimum wage, it's still, it's not enough, you see. Some people wanted fifteen dollars. I guess it was McDonald's, right? If you click this link, it says McDonald's wanted fifteen dollars an hour. McDonald's workers march on New Chicago headquarters for fifty dollars an hour wages. See, 
All right, but the, even that still wouldn't be enough, you know? And that was in Chicago. It says renters across the country earn an average hourly rate of 1688, right? The report estimated a finding that illustrates how even folks earning more than the minimum wage scrambled to pay for housing. See? So they found that people who earn more than minimum wage, all right, even scramble to pay for housing. And at what they found was the average hourly rate of renters is $16.88. It says the findings are based on the standard budgeting concept of not spending more than 30% of one's income on housing. Right. So they they believe that for you to be a successful and, 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 and have enough money to pay your rent, you have to not be able to spend more than 30% of your income, you know, but it's to the, it's to the point where you have to really, you know, budget your money, maybe even save money from, you know, a percentage, say a hundred or two, $150 from one check. Okay. For your next rent. I mean, for your next check, add that together to be able to pay your rent and even, and even have help from your spouse. You know, that's how it be. You know, people scramble to pay the rent. It says the nation's costliest housing is in Hawaii, where one would need to earn $36.13 or roughly $75,000 a year to be able to rent a modest two bedroom. The state's minimum wage increased to $10.10 10 an hour this year. See, $10.10 of what they pay in Hawaii. So, how are they going to rent? A modest two bedroom and people are people have children man especially jake jake needs two three bedrooms man for all the kids they got you know you can't put a family of four or five in a one bedroom you know they won't even let you when you go and do a um a, a, a house or an apartment uh they ask you how many kids and they tell you if you have more than um i think it's two kids a room you know what i'm saying you have to get they won't even let you get into a house or to an apartment all right. It says the cheapest housing in the U.S. can be found in Arkansas, where the minimum wage is eight dollars and fifty cents an hour. Yet one would have to make thirteen dollars and eighty four an hour or roughly twenty nine thousand a year to afford a two bedroom apartment. You see. So it doesn't average out, man. All right. Minimum wage. All right. What the government pays uh, a minimum, the minimum wage that the government uh the, the the basic the the lowest they'll pay is the minimum wage that not even that's not a, enough for somebody to to rent a modest two bedroom okay you know we're talking about something that ain't in the hood something that ain't gang infested or or or, or drug infested or or dilapidated you know old paint old beat down house or apartment look at this little graph. It says out of reach wages needed to afford rent across the U.S. So these are these are uh, um, some data, all right, that they put together. You need this amount of money for whatever state you live to afford rent. I think it's a two bedroom housing wage. All right, in 2018, the two bedroom national housing wage is 2210. Right. So, you, you know, for a two bedroom, you'd have to make at least 2210. That's an average. You see, a full time worker must earn at least 2210 an hour to afford a modest two bedroom apartment without spending more than 30 percent of income on rent. This wage varies from state to state. You see, so you'd have to make twenty two dollars and two twenty two dollars and ten cents an hour to afford a modest two bedroom apartment. You see how Esau got it, man? Damn without spending more than 30% of income on rent. See? Damn. I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna continue. It says a one bedroom is affordable for minimum wage employees in all of 22 counties and just five states, Arizona, California, Colorado, Oregon, and Washington. So it's saying here that a one bedroom is affordable in these five states and the counties that they house these states. It says each has a higher minimum wage than 725 federal minimum. Because <clears throat> the cost of living is cheap. I believe. Well, no, I'll take that back because California, they say it's real expensive. But nonetheless, the, uh, the minimum wage 
is higher than 725. And in those in these five states, Arizona, California, Colorado, Oregon, and Washington, you could afford a one bedroom. This is the study basis as definition of modest rental housing on a weighted average of fair market rent. Estimates developed annually by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development calculate the agency's housing assistance to poor people around the country. It says the house of the cost of housing has steadily risen along with increased demand for rentals. People are renting more. Yet new construction has trend, t- trended toward the high end market due to lofty development expenses. The finding said, and, and, and that's true. Because I'm a construction plumber and all we do is is lofts. Okay, and they are lofty. They are a little bit more pricey. You know. They're apartments that have gyms. uh, You know, they they have lofts. All right, on the fifth floor. You know, five stories and they have a loft. You know, big loft. Pretty, you know, nice size. But it's very costly to rent there. All right. And that's what I build. I help build that. I help do the plumbing there, you know, and construction. And that's what you see more going on, especially here out here in Phoenix, Arizona. Right. While the housing market may have recovered for many, we are nonetheless experiencing affordable housing crisis, especially for very income low families, because what they do is even though they they hire the minimum wage, it doesn't matter because rent goes up. You see, these devils ain't dumb. They know how to bounce things out. That's why the, that that's why there's affordable housing crisis, you know. It says, I'm gonna continue because it's barely there. it's gonna say it's a Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont wrote in the report's preface. In America today, nearly 11 million families pay more than half of their limited incomes toward rent and utilities. You see, these people people pay half of their income toward rent and utilities that leaves precious little for other essentials so people are barely scraping by that's the housing crisis man you know because the rich get richer and the poor stay poorer because they're just basically building for high-end market you see they're building for the rich you know you don't see them building apartments for poor income you know you, you know you have to be on section eight or, or you have to be on the, the projects or something to get low income you know because you know the cost of minimum wage might rise a couple of dollars or whatever but best believe the cost of living is going to go up that's rent could be food could be gas you know so if it you know you have to spend more of your money towards rent and that leaves you a little bit for for er- everything else you need you know utilities children entertainment food gas vehicles you see these devils got it on lock man i got a couple scriptures man i thought this was interesting all right this is uh the book of sorak 29 and 21 it says the chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing and a house to cover shame right you know the most essential thing in life all right for you to live is water Food, clothing, and a house for privacy, man. You see? But they got it. They got people, you know, living in a, in a jacked up state, you know. But we're blessed, man. You know, because... Salaki, yeah, let me... We're blessed nonetheless. And the Lord is with us. You know, the Lord blesses us. And the scriptures say that we're... Uh, we're rich in faith. We're, the Lord picked the poor, but rich in faith, man. So we believe in the Lord, and he, 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 you know, we still have nice houses, and you know, we have things. You know, we might have to scrape, but nonetheless, the Lord's with us. This is the book of James. I just want to bring out how these devils got it. You know, this is the book of James two. No five. And four. Just gonna get to the point. It says, "Behold, the higher." No, let me get in the blue letter because I want to look up something. Just a couple of scriptures. Lord willing this to be edifying. Let's see. The book of James 5 and 4 it says, Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth. Right? The laborers, you know, that work.
the hire of the labors, the dues paid for work, wages higher. You see? The the the, the wages, man. Strong's G, 3408, Miss Thoss. All right, the, the wages, man, are kept back by fraud. All right, because, you know, the thing about it is that that's fraudulent, man. How, you know, you go and you rent an apartment. All right. <clears throat> and you got to pay all these fees. If you're late, you got to pay a, a, a damn, uh, a late fee. You know what I'm saying? You got to put a deposit in the first month's rent. You know, you know, when you, when you work for somebody, yeah, they, they, they don't pay you, you know, enough, you know, the scriptures speak about all these things to defraud, rob, despoil, right? Cause they, cause they basically rob you, man. When they, when you work, Strong's G 650, apostereo, apostereo, kept back by fraud, right? And that's what they do, man. You know, you get paid and then you got all this. You got to pay uh, um, insurance, all right, because the government made a, a a move that you have to pay insurance every, uh, you have to pay, you have to have a health insurance. If not, you get fined when you do your taxes. That's another thing. You get taxed for everything, all right? So you work and you don't even get paid enough, all right? Your wages are kept back because they, you know, before you get your check, they already take all kinds of money out for all these different things. Just look on your check stub, you know? Your, the wages are kept back by fraud. That's all fraud, man. The, you know, and if you watch uh, Aaron, that movie that Aaron Russo did, it, uh, fascism. I forget the name of it. All right, but he he made a video that a uh, movie that basically was saying that you know there's no law in the United States where you have to pay taxes, man. So why are they taxing us on our checks, taking money out? You know, we would get paid more if they wouldn't tax us so much. So before we get our check, we get um, they get their cut. All right. That's what Esau do, man. It keeps back the wages by fraud. All right. It says, crieth and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath oath. Right. So the Lord hears. The Lord hears this man will be crying. We're like, we don't have enough. But hey, the Lord's going to recompense these damn Edomites, man, for their fucked up system they got. You know, we know that word Lord of Sabbath oath means the Lord of the armies. Of Israel. Okay, so the Lord of the armies of Israel is watching you damn devils keep back keep back the wages. All right, you don't pay us the full wages. You know, you don't even pay, you know, people what they really um what they really do. You know, you got some you got some Jake Iskar out here that do construction, they getting paid, you know, lesser than a guy who speaks English. That that's rough, man. What 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 these Edomites do, man. You know, because they know they can uh, squeeze every last uh, damn cent out of them. You know, they can rob you. Let's see. So the Lord sees that, man. This is Malachi 3. Let's see, Malachi 3. I'm going to read this and 5, get to the point. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against adulterers and against false swearers and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages. Right. The Lord's going to come with judgment on you, man. You know, mainly you Edomites, you know, two thirds of our people, because Jake, you know, they love to rob their own people, too. You know, you got dudes that get a CE, uh, uh, <clears throat> they get a. A foreman position, you know, they, 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 a superintendent position in a construction company. And he sees his people coming over here. And what do they do? They want to help, you know, the, com the company out by squeezing all the damn money out of the damn, out of their own people. They won't pay them what they're worth, man. And, Jake, you know, it's going be knowing how to work, you know. And I just discard all the tribes. But, you know, our people be like that, man. They oppress a hireling in his wages. The Lord's going to even destroy two-thirds of his own people for doing that. Let's see. Let's see if I can get that word. Lord willing. If not, I'm going to continue. That's not working. Shoot. Let's see. 
and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, saith Yahweh. Right. They turn aside the stranger from his right. You see, they don't give, you know, Jake what is right. You know, what, what what's owed to him. You know, there's no justice for our people, you know. I shock. Strong's H sixty two thirty one. I shack. I shack. It says to press upon, oppress, violate, defraud. You know, do violence, get deceitfully, wrong, extort, <clears throat> to be exploited, get deceitfully, deceive, defraud. All right, so they deceive a hireling in his wages, man. What's a hireling? It's a worker. You, know, you get hired to do a job, and what do they do? They pay you, you know, less than what you, you know, what, what you deserve, you know, just because they pay a couple of dollars above the minimum wage, they think they're doing something, but they're making millions, man. These CEOs of these companies, whether it be McDonald's, whether it be a uh, construction company or whatever, <clears throat> they pay the workers nothing and they make millions, man. And you can't even, you can't even support a household, man, without having everybody work. Nowadays, you got two or three people living in one house working just to pay um, the rent or mortgage. You see, but the Lord's going to come for judgment for all that, man. Can't even live in peace. You know, this is Leviticus 19 and 13. This is thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor. You see, this is the law for you Israelites, for Jake, man. There you go, that word I shock again, you see. All right. To to deceive, man, to deceitfully, you know, rob, rob him of wages. It says, neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. You see, you're supposed to pay a man every day for what he makes, man. And you're not supposed to be deceitful. You're supposed to pay him what, 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 what you know, the scriptures say a just, a just bound, uh, an unjust balance is an abomination, roughly paraphrasing. So people are supposed to get paid, you know, what they deserve. But, you know, these companies, man, they like to squeeze every damn penny out of somebody, man. You know, more work, less pay. You know, if they can get away with it, they'll do it. They'll do it a thousand times. Every time. This is Jeremiah. Let's get this one. A couple scriptures. Lord willing this be edifying. I thought that article was kind of... Um, I thought it was interesting, so I thought I'd do a video on it, you know. Jeremiah 22 and 13, it says, Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness, all right? Being deceitful and not paying people what they deserve, all right? That's unrighteous. And his chambers by wrong, that uses his neighbor's service without wages and giveth him not for his work, you see? And you got you got a lot of people out there that, that you know, they build houses you know they don't want to pay people you know what they deserve you know they got you know you get robbed sometimes you don't even um uh, you work overtime you don't even get paid you know so you know some companies they don't even give you a uh, paid vacations they don't they don't give you a uh, you know benefits you know you get nothing man you know the you know when the, the day they don't need you they just let you go and that's it you see but they want you to be on time and they don't want you to say nothing. You know, you, you, you're living in a damn uh, sweat box, man. You're living in, a, in, in, you know, you're living on the plantation. All you do is work. All you do is work, man. You see, you see, you, you see your co-workers more than you see your family. It's the book of Proverbs 22 and 16. Is he that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. And that's what they do. They, oppre they oppress the poor to what? They deceitfully do defraud the poor, all right, to increase in their riches, man. Starting with you Edomites. And he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. And it all works out for the Edomites, man, you know. They help each other in business, you know, in stocks and all that, stock market, they help each other out get richer man 
You know, they keep their money within them. They don't give to the poor. They don't help the poor out. They'll pay the, they pay the poor a little bit. They want a lot. It says, shall surely come to want. You know, you know as, as, once, as we were cursed at one point, you know, when we didn't follow the law, judgment, statutes, and commandments, you know, the Lord, he said that this would happen to us. But, you know, they're going to come to want eventually, you know. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 33. This was a curse upon us that if we wouldn't be righteous, we wouldn't listen to the commandments. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. And that's that's the Medemites and that's the other nations. They eating up everything that we do, everything that we labor in. They're over us. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. And that's the situation that we're in, you know. Oppressed. There goes that word, I shock again. See? Be exploited, man. Let's look up that word exploited. Regular definition. Let's see. Exploit. Make full use and derive benefit from a resource. You see, they make full use of you, man. You a tool. They use you up. They don't give you no benefits. And when they're done with you, what do they do? They let you go. You see? Exploit. All right? They deceitfully exploit people, man. But they're going to come to want. It says, The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall the nation which thou knowest not eat up. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed alway. Right? They eat up everything that we do. You know? There's rich people living in them houses. There's rich people eating up the food that people pick in the fields and in the, you know, the cotton and all this. You know? All these other nations benefit, man. They own the companies. They own the um, the water, the, the the farming, you know, the stores, the company, the Macy's, the, the, the Walmarts, man. You know, these devils and these other nations. And they're in cahoots, man. But they're going to come to want. <clears throat> Let me end it out on this. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Isaiah 62 and 8. It says, and the, it says, Yahweh has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength. Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. And the sons of the stranger shall not drink the wine for which thou hast labored. Right? So, the, you know, everything that we have labored for, they're not going to eat it. They're not going to drink it anymore. You know, as at one point we were cursed. Okay. The, you know, the Lord's lifting up these curses, man. When the Lord comes back, man, we're going we, we gonna to reign. You know, the Lord said he's going to give us the, the secret treasures of the earth. It says, but they that have gathered it shall eat it and praise Yahweh. And they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. You see? And that's what's coming, man. You know, we're going to eat and drink in the courts of the Lord. All right? In the, in the temples of the Lord, you know, in the kingdom. You know? Let me end it out. Let me get one more. It's Isaiah. 45 and 3. It says, And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, Yahweh, which call thee by thy name in the God and the power of Israel. You see? The hidden riches of secret places, man. You see, that's, that's what the Lord's going to do for us. You know, so we ain't going to be oppressed anymore. We ain't going to be you know, having to worry about paying rent and, you know, barely making and scraping it, scraping to get by. You see, the Lord's coming, man, with salvation. All right, so I hope this was edifying. I want to say, Brakte Hawa, Brakte Hawa Shai, Brakte Hawa, Brakte Hawa Shai, Brakte Hawa, Brakte Hawa Shai. Shalom.